Hi y'all, so this is just a speed version of me painting. So I really like to use a lot of texture, build a lot of texture in acrylic mediums. I'm using a lava texture gel from Newton Galleria here, but I already have a matte medium as well as a gloss medium on there. And as you can see now, I've already added lots and lots of texture to this painting or a canvas at this point. And I really like to use, I use a texture gel as well as a modeling paste. I really like the modeling paste just for giving so much dimension. But I just, I really enjoy the lava texture gel from uh, Windsor & Newton. As well as they have another one, like a black sand one. I forget what it's called exactly, but it dries gray. And I have both of those on this painting. Now it's dried, as you can tell. And I... I personally really love to use acrylic inks with acrylic mediums because you can see the texture to me just even better than you can with regular acrylic paint and it almost has a see-through kind of feel to it so that if you have something that has a little color underneath it like the lava texture gel it's going to show through and it just kind of adds extra dimension to that painting and here I'm just kind of playing with colors the purple is a moon violet from De La Rowney. The blue is, I believe it's, I want to call it blue waterfall, but I know that's not correct. And the green is just a really light green color. They're all pearlescent colors. I first bought a pearlescent set, basically, and so I've just, I don't know, I really love pearlescent colors and metallics, so, but you know that if you've seen some of my work. And here I'm just kind of blending in and filling in where I think it needs to be and trying to sort of smooth out some of those edges. I added a little white uh, silver pearl in the center to try and lighten that because I know I want to try and put a tree of some sort in there. And here I'm just blending it as well. But as you can see the texture really close and I'm so sorry for my camera not focusing. I didn't realize but I just really enjoyed the texture. And here it is. It's dried. So this is a few days later and now I'm going to essentially go through and decide what I'm going to paint and start that process. And this was probably one of the longest paintings I've ever done because I just kept going back in and adding layers and layers and layers until I was happy with it. So here what I'm doing is one of my favorite things, which is what I like to think of as making it look like it's raining. Um, I, I just love the way this looks on paintings, particularly ones with acrylic medium because of the textured effects it really can make it look like it's raining or almost like it's crying I don't know that at least in my mind it is and here I'm using I believe this is uh, this might be indigo or else it's a moon I don't think it's moon violet or the light blue but I, I think it's indigo I use several different colors I also pull in my Liquitex inks in this one as well and basically I'm just making swirls swirls all around because I just felt making like a like I'm making a swirly tree as you can see so I'm just adding lots and lots of branches and even some of them aren't swirly just kind of like they had just grown off and not quite swirled and now what I'm doing is what I really like to do which is kind of add some drops and drips I really like those in the acrylic ink look and it just kind of almost makes the tree look sad, at least to me, a little bit. However, I kind of went a little crazy with the drips and the drops uh, from this painting. And I got a little upset at myself because I think I OD'd. And here I am trying to pull in some lighter colors just to add some different dimensions and stuff. But, well, here I'm, I'm dripping some more. And I'm trying to add some shadow. And I was really not happy with the way this shadow turned out first. This, this first round and I did a close-up so you guys could see I'm going back in with an even darker color this I'm not sure what color it is to be honest but um, and now I'm adding some additional branches branches because I decided oh I want it to be further out in the painting and things of that nature so you'll see what I'm talking about when I said I went a little too crazy with the drips yeah I'm, I know I know don't judge me uh, but I really do love it and I decided to go back in and make it rain basically with all the colors one thing I really love when you do do the drips with the acrylic ink is that if you drip one on top of the other while they're still wet you can kind of get this really cool it's not quite blended but they're like together and swirled it's just so beautiful so 
I've gone back in basically and added some extra drops of other things. Here I'm trying to paint another tree in light purple, which it ends up getting covered up at the end of the day, so you can't really see it. But um, And now I'm adding in some purple drops because I'm like, yeah, we might as well just go all the way and <laughs> make this tree really sad. So now I'm adding in some more white, and as you can sort of see in the center a little bit, what I'm talking about where it almost mixes together a little bit, it's really beautiful, and I just, I think it looks really neat. So I'm sort of hemming and hawing at this point, and I'm pretty sure I've decided that I need some leaves. So... <laughs> I'm, and I've, I've decided to let this painting dry. So you're watching paint dry. I hope you're enjoying this. I'm sure you're not. But anyways, so basically what I've decided is that this thing needed some leaves. So I've gone in, and this is a sponge I'm using, and I'm starting with, I believe it is the same blue I used in the background, and just filling it in wherever I think it needs leaves. And I just basically cut a little piece off a sponge and just tried to fill in like lots and lots and lots of texture and layers. So as to sort of make it look better. You'll see. But. Yep, just having lots of fun. And I just kind of like dab the sponge on there and then... You know, I end up using the paintbrush a little bit too, so, and then I, in the, with the paintbrush, I'm going in with a lighter color, I believe it's the Liquid, Liquitex Ink Cerulean Blue, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the color. So at this point though, keep in mind, my drops have already dried, because this is already, this is probably my third or fourth session with this painting, uh, which is usually, I don't usually do that, just to be honest with you, I'm pretty, pretty quick about getting whatever done that I kind of want to do, but I just keep adding layers until I'm really happy with the contrast and the way this painting turned out. I have to say at the end of the day I was I was surprised how much I really liked it because at certain points with paintings you just know, there's certain points when you paint you just don't like it. So now I'm adding some purple in because I decided oh dear lord I got it way too blue and even with the background so what I'm doing is I'm adding additional contrast by adding in kind of speckles of a purple and so you can really kind of see okay this is a treat I swear. <laughs> so anyhow at the end of the day though overall I'm, I'm pretty happy with this painting and how it turned out. I hope you all enjoyed it. I'll talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye bye.